and okay. guess which one that could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now we'll tell him. Yeah. Um, maybe we can, we can tell them a bit if you don't mind. Do no, you mind yeah, yeah. Keep huh? the suspense. Keep the secret. Okay, so that, 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 <laughs> that is a product that we, there's, there's to be used in the pool. Just to put it very simply, right? So basically, <laughs> um, because it robs, it creates all the signals. And the reason why, and to inform people that look, someone has dropped into the pool. The innovation here is low cost. If you can cut it down the cost to about less than ten dollars, to me that is innovation. Right? They work on the cost. They say that this is not available in the market. Everyone can buy it. You can sell it to the pool or pool cleaners, who can basically if you do my if you let me clean a pool, I will give you this gadget for free. This is the marketing strategy. They pitch a very very good storyline. It's very convincing, right? Low cost. It is a no brainer, right? But Actually, anyway, so uh, the reason why I mentioned sorry, Nick. so the reason why I mentioned this is what if you have a product that's similar that requires some electronics integration? Now we only focus on the mechanical aspects, right? And as engineers, for so many years, I will know whether something is feasible. If you say you want to squeeze in something that is into a fingernail size product, of course I won't believe you, right? But just focus on the mechanical side of things. You can have electronics. But it needs to be sensible. Right. Yeah, that, that project came out of a student's experience with their part time job. It's a final report uh, yeah. group, or is it individual like three, three? It will be a group, but then there will be different segments from different members. Contributions. Contribution. So we'll have, a, again, a table breakdown of contributions. So it's but one, we one do, submission. Though. Yeah, we okay. do expect each member to, to be you know, doing the cats as well, showing some sort of calculation because. That's how you demonstrate your gradual capability. Yeah. So you need to break that down. You said you said don't worry about the electronic spark, but you still have to draw inside that. It just needs to have a space for it. Not the electronics. So you wouldn't have to, like, you wouldn't have to draw like one board in it. No, 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 and tell us how their motherboard looks like. They need to draw CAD as well, and we need to fit everything in. So we need not know. We need not know how the motherboard or whatsoever PCB works, but we need to know the approximate size, what can be achieved, what an MT, whether can it be put inside the product. The entire architecture is our responsibility as mechanical engineers. Does that answer your question? Yeah. yeah. Based on That's right. Yes. So you don't want any like No, we didn't say that. We say that you are welcome to produce some get some not get but products with electronics, but you are, you won't be assessed the electronic circuitry. It's not us. We are mechanical engineers. So if the main focus, you won't get a good one. No. I mean, you can't design a. I mean, you shouldn't be designing a like just an electronic system because we, as mechanical engineers, we're not going to be able to. So, All right, say too much about you demonstrating if, that. If, 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 say for example, mobile phone don't exist, and you are the person that in 401, you came up with this thing, right? So here is a very cool device, right? Now, actually your, your, your question is a very good question. Now, the innovation is that you can do multiple stuff, right? You can download the app, you can be a smartphone. You will not get any score for your creativity in the sense because it is an electronics innovation. It's not a mechanical, functional innovation. <clears throat> Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, um, please don't say that you want to create a device that will allow you to do online stuff or something. That to me, to us, is not a mechanical innovation. The innovation shouldn't be in the electronic component. There's, there could always be an analogous mechanical system for it. Right. Right? If you look at the very first calculators, right, I'm talking about like Sentry, they weren't mechanical, they weren't digital. So if you, know, if you can design something of that complexity, of that level of innovation, then yeah, like highly sorted. Right. But if you say rely most of the innovation to be in the circuitry, then it's not really the point, is it? The, the mechanical aspects is the housing, and what's the innovation in the housing? Right. Say like a GoPro, most of the technology, it's not on the housing, but in the, 
in the intellect in there, right? So there's no innovation here from our perspective. Yeah. So just have to be wary of that. If you can do with a mechanical system, then do it. But what if your innovation was really lightweight, really strong, waterproof camera case, and you just, just presumed that the electrical hardware... I consider that as an innovation. Right. But I, I want to add, in that case, it needs to differentiate itself from normal housing. Exactly. Right? So if you could go down 50 kilometers, well, five kilometers in, in the water and still have that pressure point, mm. you know, great. That Easy maintenance, not, even better. That means in your analysis, we will expect you to do all the simulation to prove that it's going to work, yeah. right? And then, how many people will actually buy your product? Given that it can travel five kilometers down, I, I think not a lot of people will be attracted to it with the you know corresponding increase in cost in manufacturing and things like that. So it's a game, right? You really need to to work it out. What is there? Yeah, the point that will make it work. Cool. Any other? Any other questions? Pressing concerns. Alright, be excited about this uni because I am very excited to I look forward to see all this uh, innovation that's coming out from you guys, right? Um, and look, we are here to help you. We are not here to criticize you. Please get it out from your mind, right? And if let's say we say that look, so and so, I don't think your product is going to work because <coughs> okay, last year, uh, before you before you guys go, um, I just want to give a, a example. Alright, last year there's this group of students, right? They get very annoyed. Um, I'm not going to name them, but it, 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 it's, some, it's something that I will try to avoid this year. Right? If, I, if I happen to see any group that is get a bit agitated because their ideas are being rejected in a way, based on my comments, they feel that they don't have the approval, they get, you, get, you guys get frustrated, how I will tackle it, I will just walk away. All right? Because it wasted so much time for me trying to talk to them. But what this group was thinking of is a, a table to be... Okay, so the problem statement. The problem statement is that nowadays apartment sites are getting smaller. They are living in a studio, you know, they rented a room, and there's not enough space for, for a study desk. So ah, mechanical engineers, I just designed a desk that can be hooked right behind the door. Right? Now, my question is number one, do you really need to design that? Why can't you just buy a chair, a table that you can flip open from IKEA, modify and hook it? Do you really need to you make it? That's my number one. How many of you think that this is a reasonable, reasonable argument? It is, right? Depends on how you look at it. The second thing is, if you hang it behind the door, you use it, someone comes in, and it hurts the consumer, who do you think the consumer is going to sue? It's going to sue you, right? You, 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 you will go bankrupt straight away. And that is why, even for a handphone like this, companies pay millions of dollars in terms of buying insurance and indemnity because you know why? We even need to protect ourselves for people who abuse the product. If, you, if someone abuse your product that you design and they hurt themselves, you are also liable. That is how tricky these things are, right? This is just my second reason, reason, right? And the third thing is, you close the door, you use a, you use a table, and what if there's a fire? What's going to happen? So they have all sorts of, uh, of adversely as students. I can understand. I was once a student. We have all sorts of explanation. Now oh, we can design a mechanism that will help us to lock the door at the same time when we use the use the table, and it just went on and on. So it was not very fruitful. So. This, this is some of the things that I don't want to get to, right? If there's, there's such situation like this, I would just encourage you guys to take our comments, write it down. Remember that these are the same questions that we will raise if it's not being resolved during the Shark Tank presentation and in your report, right? And you just need to deal with it and come up with your own evidence to convince. But I can tell you, we can be very hard to convince, right? Because we are very critical thinkers. So I hope that helps. Yes. Is it just you two we speak to? Are there like other tutors in the so there will be so the first few tutorials, both Nick and myself, we will basically um, um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, we will we'll be there to basically lead lead the first few tutorials, right? Uh, it will be very very interesting. I can promise you, we will bring a few products, and the first exercise is basically to get you guys to think how many parts are involved in a simple product. I think one of the first skill that you guys need to develop is when you go to Kmart or Target or whatsoever or good guys. When you look at the vacuum cleaner, will you be able to have a good judgment on how many parts are involved in this particular product? A lot of students, they underestimate, and that's why they thought, ah, I want to come up with this product, but man, you know, there's more than like 20 components, which is not worth spending the time, right? If, you, if, it, if it needs more, more than 20 components, because you need all the CAD drawings to support that design. So um, we will lead the first few tutorials, right, in the next few weeks, 
and then but there will always be a tutor. His name is Taye, so he will be there to help you guys. Write down any questions that he can't answer. He will just bring to us, to us, and we will resolve it as soon as possible. Okay, no questions. All good. You guys ready? Now before you go, right? Can we actually take a picture? Do you have a picture? Yeah, just swap the camera. I promise. Okay, so can we just take a picture? Have a good start. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, how many of you mind us putting this up on a social media? One, two, three. I ask for permission. Okay, good. All right. So everybody, give me a smile, thumbs up. Let's take a picture. So I think this works. All right. Hey, Shelton, do you want to jump in? Uh, maybe we just come together and take a picture, shall we? I don't know why. You know, I always want to take a picture with you guys after four years of meeting you, but I can't.